Hello everyone, I'm Rose Pearson and welcome to yet another vlog. As you can see on the title, I just really wanted to be happy. I'm so ready to be happy and get over all these emotional things that has been happening to me. And yet, I was hit by so many, so many things. Maybe it's because I just give myself a lot of challenges so you know that leads to things can go wrong maybe it's the universe who wants to let me know that I'm not done healing and I need more time to do so maybe it's a combo who knows even so I tried my best <laughs> I I was ready to create a lot of stuff and um, I ended up in a situation where I could do nothing but uh, you will understand why that is if you watch the video till the end but before I let you go I just want you to let you know that you know sometimes we really try our best and it just feels like we keep hitting problem after problem after problem and that's just life here nothing is wrong with you it's just it's just life and we need to try our best and sometimes we're just forced to sit down and wait but better times will come and hopefully that will be the case for future vlogs but for now this is what i have for you so i hope you enjoy it so yeah let's uh, roll the video and uh, i will see you in the end of this vlog <laughs> My gosh, I cannot believe I have had this grammar mistake for so long. So one of you, my lovely blooming souls, with a very beautiful username, the soulful butterfly. I mean, that that's so pretty. Anyway, this person just made a very nice comment letting me know that when I'm writing thanks for watching in the end of my vlogs, I am missing a C. So be 100% correct, it is actually saying thank you for wathing. Wathing. Oh my god. I know it's such a small thing, but I feel so dumb. So I'm just right here trying to fix this problem. Um, so yeah, thank you again for letting me know of this grammar mistake. Unbelievable. <laughs> Okay, I think the mistake has been fixed now. Thankfully, it didn't took too long to fix. <sighs> and it's Romeo. Taking care of yourself is really hard sometimes. I really wanted to feel more excited about my sticker card machine, but I'm just in a very emotional, hard situation. Dealing with another death and finding out who I am and what I feel passionate about, even though I have things I feel passionate about, they sometimes just disappear. Sometimes I think I just need to say it out loud. And it will make it a bit easier to have on my shoulders. And give me the motivation to keep believing it will all be okay. I still haven't heard from the hamster lady or the man or woman or whatever person that should help me try to fix my printer. I haven't checked if it works now for some reason. I'm just really not in the mood to do anything. I want to be okay with not being okay. And right now I am not okay. I am very sad and I am very frustrated. And I don't like it. But I am it anyway. <laughs> oh, my, I just... I feel my life is so, such a mess right now. I can't even talk. Other than getting a hamster, I also really just want to try to play Sims Cottage Living. I don't know, it's just so cute and you can get cows and chickens and llamas and dress them up and it just sounds so fun but I just really don't have a lot of money and I really 
Now, when saying this, please know I'm not trying to force you to give me your money, not at all. And I say this because I have parents who, whenever I had a problem, they solved it for me. And you know that might seem like a nice thing, but when trying to become an independent woman, an adult, it's very frustrating because it's kind of like you want to just be irritated about the situation you're in and still be able to deal with it and go through it. But not always, but sometimes my parents was just like, well, here, here's some money. Here's now I have fixed your problem by doing so and so. Uh, and it just, you know, it, they, it, it means that I don't get the right to be irritated about it and just be in the situation. So even though a little part of me still want to get more money <laughs> to buy the Sims 4 credits living, it's also really important for me in some way that I, I, it's okay for me to be frustrated about it and still just let me be in this frustration and find my own way to solve this problem. Or maybe just be annoyed about it, I don't know. It's also complicated. <sighs> maybe I'm just bad at accepting help, I don't know. I think it's it's important to find the balance between somebody helping you and sometimes you solving your own problems. That was actually very nice just to say all of that out loud. So thank you for listening if you're still here. <laughs> Please know, you know, sometimes we don't see how valuable it is to just listen and sit down and still be there after they have word vomit all of this out. <laughs> So I really want to say thank you, it was a help, even though if you kind of felt like I forced it on you, you, you helped anyway. Thank you. <laughs> also, whenever I'm sad, I just kind of feel like I tell myself I'm always sad. Like all the videos you have seen ever, I'm just sad and being this depressed person all the time. Like I forget all the times I have been happy and showing you that I actually know how to smile. So that's really frustrating as well. I really, I'm really trying to remind myself that I have shown you the happy side of me as well. <laughs> and you know, I'm laughing a lot. That's just the mechanism in me because I find it so hilarious that I feel so sad and I want to give up so much on life just for a moment. And it makes me more frustrated that I'm kind of having this moment right now because in some way I just feel like that dark teenage person who just wants to turn into a goth and hate on life and write how awful it is. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm 22 years old and I only get to this stage in life now. I mean, come on. <laughs> I'm most likely not going to do that, but I did think about making a page just writing why I hate life because of getting out of the frustration that I feel inside of me. But at the same time I have this part inside of me telling me it's so wrong and it's so not me so I'm kind of not sure what I need to do in these next few days. But I think that was enough ramble for today. I will not force more of my frustration onto you, but I hope you could value me being honest. It's somehow still very new to me to be open about me not being okay and me not being strong all the time, but I'm kind of liking it. I can feel how the pressure is slowly disappearing on my shoulders, so I think this is the right direction. But um, I will see you whenever it makes sense, you know. Uh, maybe I will be in the same mood, maybe I will be in another mood, we never know. So, it's now Wednesday and um, my printer is still not working. I have very lovely comments from a user called Delightful for me and they suggested doing a printer head alignment, it's called. And 
I'm so happy now that I now have the knowledge, like you're getting stuff like this and then you can help the alignment get correct. Sadly, even so, this did not fix the line problem. It is still doing lines. I have no idea if you can actually see them, but they are there, trust me. And so with this, I have just decided to uh, remove all the stuff that I don't have in stock and just actually show exactly what I have in stock so people can only buy things that I have in stock and will be able to pack for them and because a lot of people like these but I cannot print these and I don't have anything in stock so instead of keep denying people their orders I just thought this was for the best and it is also like a good timing for me to actually do the sale and sell most of my stuff hopefully and then get the nice situation to rethink what I would like to continue selling and what I think it's time to say goodbye to. So if you should be interested in buying any of my products on a nice discount you can go to my Etsy shop and see what is still available. Or you can wait a little bit longer till I have launched my Halloween fall theme and both get the discount. Maybe I cannot guarantee how much will be left, but the opportunity might be there and then you can also get the new Halloween stuff and fall stuff. I actually just find fall to be very hot theme and in some way also Halloween because like the things we expect to see is ghost and pumpkin and leaves and stuff like that which means it can be in some way hard to just put in my characters and still make it feel like fall um it might be easy for some of you i don't know i'm just i'm a, i'm actually struggling a little bit but i did manage to make some sketches of some cute ideas that we will try on later because now even though my printer is not working i have decided to face my fear because when it comes to my new machine and with that i mean my sticker cut machine i the anxiety level is up here like really up high <sighs> because i'm just so afraid it's so confusing and but today i'm going to fear it i'm going to do it i'm going to give it a try and see if i can make this work actually so wish me luck I also really want to decorate it, but that is most likely going to be for another day because right now I need to focus on just making it work. So let me just read a lot and see how all of this goes and hopefully we can celebrate it in the end because it actually works. Okay, no more procrastination. Let's do this. It doesn't look like the same at all, but anyway, I think what I've done is good enough. Now we wait for the demo to finish. Maybe I should make my own fish paw screen. That could be fun. Okay, let's try that. Okay, it's done. I hope you enjoyed my little fish paw screen, whatever it's called in English. <laughs> okay, software is now downloaded and we can continue seeing if I know how to use this. Oops. Is this not supposed to be sticky? I am confused. Oh, of course, this is the protection, protection shade. Oh, she hasn't taken that off yet, or what? Oh, this is the testing paper. Oh, it makes sense now. Okay, time for the test print. It apparently messed up already. This is not a good sign. Why did it mess up? 
I didn't do anything wrong. Oh no, I'm so sad. What? It got through my mat. Oh damn. Why? I can feel the meltdown coming. I just feel I'm slowly going down into this dark hole because I'm just so sad about this experience and maybe it's my fault, maybe it's not, but I guess I need to text them. Damn it, I was so excited for this and now I need to take a break to figure out how to deal with this situation. So um, I guess I will have to just pause the process from here and get back to you. Yes ma'am, you did this to yourself. You decided to dig and just put it all over your bowl with water. So now there's no water left. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh, you just playing cute? Well, that will not work on me. <sighs> but I guess I'm the one who needs to fix it anyway, though. God damn, why do you have to be so cute? What are you doing now? Okay, bye. Hello, my blooming souls. So, a lot of stuff is not going as planned. Um, and I just have a few updates that I wanted to share with you. So, first of all, just got my second vaccine shot. So, your girl did it. I didn't cry. The lady was very nice to me and helped me talk. Actually talked about what she was doing and it actually felt pretty nice. Um, so that's good. Not feeling sick in any way yet. I'm sweating a lot, but that might just be me. I don't know. <laughs> uh, other than that, this baby is going to a service check once more. Isn't it lovely to have a printer? <laughs> And I did learn from the last time, so I had saved the box so I had something to put it in when it needs to go to the service check. I have actually no idea if this service is free or not. She didn't mention any amount of money, so I guess it's free. I don't know, I hope. Maybe it's because I have some kind of two years guarantee, five years guarantee of service, I don't know. Hopefully they can help make my little baby stop making uh, lines in my prints. And to an even more interesting part, my sticker cutting machine or Silhouette Cameo 4. I went back and forth with the company and I found out that it was my mistake. So sad. And I have no idea if this is saying in English, but in Danish we would say that I have eaten the poop. <laughs> And that means I accepted that this was my fault and it's all because of one wrong assumption. Oh, this is the testing paper. Yes, this was only for protection of the sticker side. It was not the type of paper they were showing as an example. So um, the paper that was on and meant to be cut was a lot more thick. Um, and that's probably the reason why um, it actually caught all the way through my mat in many spots. They did say that there was a one year guarantee, but it turns out it's only for USA and other places in America. And since I live in Europe, it's just a shame. So uh, I had to talk with the place I bought this from and they say nothing about a guarantee and they're just a random hobby shop. So I was just like, yeah, that there. I assumed that I would not get a free mat. So I just bought it and it sucks so much. It, it's so expensive compared to just being a piece of plastic. I know there might be some more work in it but it sucks when you're a small business. But to be just a little bit positive, it was a very cheap experience to get compared to if something happened to this machine. Oh my God, I don't even dare to think about that. So Matt, new Matt is on the way. Printer is going out to hopefully be able to print right again. And this means I basically cannot do anything when it comes to products. Yay. 
So I think I'm just going to do a lot of stuff because I am still struggling with autumn Halloween theme. I don't know why it's such a struggle. Maybe it's just because I want to come up with 100 nice ideas instead of just accepting the few that I actually really like already. So I think I will just try to enjoy the waiting game <laughs> and uh, come back to you whenever I have a new update uh, to this situation. Hey, so um, I wish I had something very magical to say, but I really don't. I don't have anything yet. I am still waiting. I have a lot of great content for when things will work out, but right now I'm I'm struggling a bit still. And I definitely feel like I have led you down in some way the past few weeks. But even so, you might know me at this point that I just need to try my best. So uh, that's why I have been doing a lot of stuff. I'm going to help my mom with her website very soon. I'm also working on some uh, notebook designs, but that is all for a future videos. But what I can show you is actually something I decided to do while waiting, and that is designing a background. And the background I'm going to make is a Halloween themed with a cute twist, of course, because it is me, I create cute stuff. <laughs> so uh, without further ado, let's just start creating this background. And here we have the final result. I think it turned out so cute. Here is how it looks on the iPad and here is how it looks on the phone. They will all be linked in the comment below, both with a background on the top, but also without if you just want it to be nice and clean for the different apps to appear. I have looked around for other options with companies who can help me create stuff so I don't have to do anything myself like creating mugs and t-shirts and hoodie designs and I think it sounds very fun and it's something I would love to add to my next shop update but that's a whole new mindset for my mind so I'm not sure if I will have the time to make any kind of designs in this vlog but um, if that is the case you will go to that video part right now if not, you will just be led to the ending of this video. Okay, we're now back and I, I just wanted so bad to create this 
awesome design for a t-shirt or a mug that I will be like, I have ordered it now, it's on my way. Let's be excited together, but I'm just, it's so overwhelming. And I just, I don't want to produce something just in order to produce stuff. I want to be proud of it. So that's why I have decided to just end the vlog here and say, that's that's what i have to offer for now um a lot a lot of exciting things are going to happen whenever these problems get fixed <laughs> but when the waiting time is over there's just so many exciting things waiting around the corner so i hope you uh, are ready for the waiting game together with me and hopefully next vlog will be able to show all of some of these exciting things that I will be able to do then. Again, also to just give myself a free time to start over. I know it's something we often do, you know, in the new year, but for me, it just felt right to take this moment right now to give myself a fresh start. So uh, there will be a discount on my shop. You will get everything for 50% with the things I already have in stock. The Halloween stuff, the fall stuff will not be on a discount for 50%. It's only the stuff, as mentioned, I have in stock right now. So you can go get that if you want to, or you can see if anything will be there when the other shop update will be a thing. There is links to my shop in the description below, as well as the background for a phone and for an, an iPad. Maybe you can actually also use the iPad for a computer screen. I haven't tried that out, but that might be a thing. The background doesn't cost anything. That's just a little gift for me to you because I really appreciate you. I feel a little bit silly for saying you cannot use it to sell it, but you know, I'm here, I'm saying it now, if anybody should be unsure. But it is time to end this vlog because I have other stuff to do today, like going to a party. A part of me is like, yeah, I need more parties in my life. And now that I have to go to a party, I'm just like, you really have to go? I really, I'm scared. <laughs> so I'm just so scared that people will dislike me or something will go wrong. I will be super bored and all, all, all that stuff, you know. So uh, I'm going anyway and I'm going to allow myself to be nervous about it and not to be, you know, this person that just arrives at the party like, hi everybody, hey, let's be best friends because I'm not nervous at all. No, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to try to show that I'm nervous, there is a lot of people, I don't know, and hopefully find somebody who will embrace me and take me into the party uh, and help me feel like I'm a part of the people around there. I have no idea if that sentence makes sense in any way, but I hope you know what I'm trying to communicate here. <laughs> and with that said, it is now time to uh, don't try to force myself to say anything clever and just let my body move to the rhythm and let the energy out of my very nervous body. And I hope you will join me. Okay, let's go. Oh.